back in October, we found ourselves in the tiny town of Stamford, Kentucky, and we were able to enjoy a lodging experience we've never really had before. The Wilderness Road Hospitality Group has the Inn at Wilderness Lodge and guest houses, so we had the awesome chance to stay in one of the houses, Whitley Cottage. It's known around Stamford as the Little Red House, and it is the cutest. It has a cozy front porch and a beautiful backyard, great for a small family. It's also next to the Bowman Mill, the first steam mill in Kentucky, but you have to wait until one of our next videos to learn about that. The cottage has two perfect bedrooms and bathrooms. The master has a king bed, gas log fireplace, and a beautiful ensuite. The second bedroom has a queen bed, a cozy chair, and smaller but still pretty perfect ensuite bathroom. I love that the sink was outside of the bathroom so I had more space to move around while doing my makeup. Weird, but true. In the living room, there's another gas log fireplace, a comfy chair and sofa that pulls out into a queen size bed. There are also a ton of books and games to keep the family entertained, and a TV where we spent most of our time watching Hallmark Christmas movies. Just down the hall, the cottage is equipped with a washer and dryer, and then we have the kitchen. This kitchen has everything. Pots and pans, utensils, a full-size oven and fridge. Every inch of space was perfectly utilized. And we also had two very sweet gift baskets from Wilderness Road Hospitality and Kentucky Soaps and such. The Whitley Cottage was the perfect spot for us. And the whole time we were there, we were talking about how fun it would be to live in the Little Red House. It had everything we needed and every inch of space was perfectly used. The Whitley Cottage was the first stop on an exciting trip to Stanford. That video goes live next week but here is a little sneak peek. <laughs> and what I really hope, I mean, my goal is that what you experience is what everybody experiences. Everybody's going through something. So when you look out into that room, I'm just gonna, for instance, this person may have just lost a husband of 20 years and this person, may have just got told that they had Crohn's disease and just had gotten married. And this person, oh, maybe they're on a high and they just got a scholarship and this person's going through something else. So how do you serve them? The way you do it is with a smile on your face and with a really good cup of sweet tea. No preservatives, nothing like that. So we'll put our essential oils, our fragrance oils in some of them um, with our chef's blend, which is a very popular. We actually put coffee in it and our coffee comes from a roaster down in Pulaski County. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe! It doesn't cost you nothing to hit that button, y'all. And thank you to Wilderness Road Hospitality for sponsoring this trip. Oh, now it's gonna turn. Okay. Oh god, it's zoomed in! Ah!